there are some mothers that can go about doing stuff for themselves. And you will be like, why is mine not the same? Gosh. But I gladly want you to know that either being able to go about stuff or being on bed rest, a very, very big applause to all mamas. If you are my type, who knows, even when I breathe, I feel like a baby is coming out of me. I believe all we have to do is to listen to our bodies, what our body is telling us. Especially when you do one or two things, okay? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you start spotting, or you start seeing a little bit of blood or bleeding. You know sometimes the body is telling you something that it's not safe for the pregnancy or there is something going on somewhere so seek the attention of your doctors immediately there are about four or five things that I was doing to help manage my pregnancy with attack why am I sharing with you this today it's because when I was going through, I thought it was weird. So sometimes I want to challenge my body so bad to see if, okay, I will be okay. But it didn't work. Even though it's not normal, trust me, hate you, take you to the end. It took me, so I believe it can help you as you are listening to me. Sad pregnancies are somehow to me, not the same as the normal ones, but the end that justifies the means. So, I mean, if I have to hang my legs, if I have to be on bed, if I can go back and forth, you know, to get what I want, I've been praying for, why not? I would do it. The number one thing that I, I thought it was weird for me was, we you know when you go to the hospital, the doctor will tell you, or your midwife, or your caregiver will tell you, hey, you can pack some pillows behind you so that when you, know, when you eat or after food, you lay back on it for some time or whatever and relax, okay? And then after that, sometimes, mostly when you, are, when, you, when you complain of heart burns, that is how you are directed to do. Guess what? For me, every time I try, or any time I try, eating, whilst like sitting on bed, my, my pregnancy was not a complete bed rest throughout, but uh, from the beginning, it was most of a bed rest, unless maybe I'm going to the restroom to, you know, ease myself. But apart from that, I have to lay down to eat, talk, do everything. I was on bed rest. So to me, what uh, I thought I found weird was, as they say, you have to pack pillows, sisters. I don't. The moment I do that, all the food I have eaten pushes all the way from down, right? From my down like that, pushes all the way up to my chest. So, what happened was I have to lay, what I did was lay back flat, straight up on the bed. And every time I do that, oh my God, it feels like I'm in heaven. <laughs> it felt so good. And all oh my system, you can see the baby will be moving back and forth, so strong. I don't get heart burns. And, and my brains, everything will be working normal. I feel like I am feeling so good. And also I can breathe very, very well when I was laying flat. So when, if you're going through anything of that sort, I want to tell you that it's not you alone. I went through it. And little by little, it will work out. Number two was eating on the bed. Uh -huh. Every time I finish eating, what I, you know, they will tell you 
your nurse is or everybody will tell you again sit sit on the bed and just lay back like that and eat mine wasn't like that i have to lay on my left arm okay eat all i can eat my my head will not be on pillow it cannot help me so i lay down like that sometimes straight flat or i lift my head up a little bit and and support my head with my hands and then i'll be eating little by little after that i'll lay flat or straight on my the same arm for some time because i found out that when i do that my digestion go very quickly like i i feel like the food digest very well so after laying on that then i can either turn to my left a little uh, my my right a little bit or just lay go back to laying straight or flat great another thing that i did that helped me throughout the pregnancy was the reason the main reason why i wasn't even sitting on bed right the moment i sit on anything that have that has a mattress like foam in it it's like my my baby push it from my 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 down all the way up so i'll i'll be struggling to breathe okay so I'll, like i'll be <sighs> so the best way for me to be comfortable when i'm trying to sit down is to sit on a hard surface anything that has like a chair that has a hard surface like this one anytime i sit on a flat surface or better still i have to sit straight on the floor when i sit down like that oh my goodness i start to feel so good let me try and use and sit on a, a normal couch with the foam and everything in it oh my god it's like something is pushing <laughs> pushing all the way do you see my hands do you see how oh. Something is pushing me like this, okay? Pushing me all the way to my heart. <clears throat> so I just have to sit straight and be free. So if any way you are going through that also, please do what the body is telling you. I have no idea why it is like that, but I have told you that my, my first baby was not like that. And the second time with the tack, it was so much or oh, a lot of stuff. The the third or fourth, right? I guess the fourth. When I'm getting up, okay. Normally, with a normal pregnancy, you know when you are getting up, it's hard a little bit. Mm. Try tack pregnancy, like mine. I'm saying mine because it's not the same for everybody. Before I get up, <laughs> especially when my tummy is all the way, I get into the eighth or ninth, hmm, I have to find something closer to me. Or even when I'm getting up from the floor, it's like I'm picking up everything on the floor, okay? <laughs> I go down all the way, finding my way up. It's so hard. And it really helped me. The last time I wasn't careful, mm, I didn't get it well. So the being careful to the time you give birth is important and it's very, very relevant. Do not challenge your body. Oh, uh, everybody's, when I was pregnant with baby number 10, they, 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 it was like this, baby number 11 was like this. So this one should be the same. No, it's not like that. Before I get up, you know, I have to go all the way, like slowly up. You know, pregnancy, normal pregnancy are like that, right? Without a tag. And when I say normal, that is what I mean, guys. I'm not saying this abnormal. Yeah. With, without a tag, that is how, sometimes you don't get up at once to move. Some people do go back and forth, they do. But, but you have to, you know, wait a little bit before you move. With tag pregnancy, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get up like that. Wait for the the uterus, for my uterus, or for the baby in the uterus 
to calm down okay when i stand it comes down like this you see how slow my arm is going yes that is how it is so i have to wait all the way mm. so that is how it felt at first like when i was sitting the baby came pulled up that is how it felt and when I am getting up, it has to. I did Sanya a kind of bro for me. I brought for my mum, but my mum brought for us. Your mummy. When something is descending, yes, it's like you climbing the mountain and descending. Uh huh. That is how it felt. So I have to stand for it to descend. Let me just use that word, descend. Uh -huh, that's the correct word for it to descend like you climbing down a mountain or you coming down from a mountain ride a slow beat. so sometimes for me to move one feet after sitting down it takes almost uh, getting to whatever minute then I'll be standing at one place if by any way I try to force the body to move. It's either my groins, is it groin? Yeah. Will be locked and I cannot move at all. Yeah. So I just have to obey and stand before I move. That was how I was managing at that time. When I'm getting up from bed, ah, wow, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was the normal turning when you are pregnant. You know, lay on your hands, feet down first, feet trying to get down, and then your body up, and then you sit up. Okay. But with tag, if you see how I have to get up from bed, it's just. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know how to even turn. Uh huh. And I feel like, oh my God, you have to see it yourself. And then I will be holding the, 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 what happened was I have to, I will be, when I get up, when I'm able to get up, I'll be holding the wall so tight and stand like that, <laughs> like a prayer warrior and stand like that to wait for my system to be set before I move. Yeah, that is how it felt like. And the next one, that mm, we might think it's not important, but I think it is. Lifting too much stuff. Don't try it. Don't do it. I did not do it. What the first time pregnancy. The second time wasn't okay. It didn't go well for me. When I tried doing stuff that I was not supposed to do, it didn't go well for me. I challenged my body the second time and it didn't happen well. Not, no eating too much. Okay, what I was doing is, was eating bit by bit. Even though I want to eat this food so bad, but I cannot eat it in full. I cannot finish the whole food. I can, but I have to uh, restrain myself from it. So I can eat small portions. In, I, can, I can eat in small portions, little portions, okay? I eat a little bit, I digest, and I go in to eat again. All because the moment I eat much that I, I shouldn't, the whole food will be here. And it's either I get hard bodies, Oh, I feel so uncomfortable. I cannot breathe well throughout the day. So I have to tell myself that I'm not going to eat this food. I'll eat bit by bit. That helped me a lot. And of course, wearing flat shoes was my thing. <laughs> when I was going for my antenatal doctor's appointment, whatever it is, flash shoes everywhere wherever I go to and the last one I will give you 
as not sitting straight on your tummy on your tummy or on your uterus when you are sitting down okay make sure i'm i i was always making sure that i will not sit straight on my tummy i'll just lay back like that okay i will sit on the flat surface or on the floor and then lay back on the wall like that it really helped me it really did because the last time as i was telling you i'm comparing stuff that is why i'm giving you this the last time i sat straight like that okay eating my food it was just a laughter i was watching something and i just laughed and then the laughter was that hard <coughs> you know that that <laughs> sound and my water broke so please be careful listen to what your body is telling you and do not never ever compare somebody's pregnancy to yours or even the other baby to this one because we are all different so i am so grateful for you being here today with me and please do share comment oh your golden comment just leave a comment below tell me what you've been through share your experience share your story at the comment section let a sister read so it can encourage it can it can empower it can help each other so that we can know that okay fine i'm not the only person going through this or i'm not the only one going through this you know what please know that you are so 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 loved and cherish i love you and see you here on the same channel in the next one bye